Hello and welcome to the Trendy Coffee Podcast with me, James Hammond. I'll be bringing you trendy coffees from all around the world in any city, any country, anywhere. Grab yourself a trendy coffee, strap in and join me on my journey as I seek out trendy coffees all around the world. Welcome to this very special episode of the Trendy Coffee Podcast. And this week I'm going to give a roundup of all the cafes that I went to in San Marino, Monaco, and Rome slash Vatican City and these are ones that I did not showcase essentially there were a lot of cafes and coffees that we had that were not recorded so I wanted to give you a bit of a lowdown of some of my favourite ones the only thing I did do is record a little snippet of each one of the cup that you might see on my social media channels let's go straight into the first one in San Marino first up is Cafe Titano located on Piazzetta del Titano in San Marino. San Marino is pretty small. You should be able to find that quite easily. These guys are open from 6am every day and they close at 7pm on the weekdays and 8pm on the weekends. And the coffee was two euros and it's pretty good tasting actually. Not the trendiest of cafes, but a very modern looking calf that sells beer, ice cream and lunch as well. There aren't too many options in San Marino, but this one is one of the best ones that I could find. Check it out. Next up, we are in Monaco, and Monaco is quite expensive, but we managed to find a cheap-ish cafe for lunch and coffee called Gerhard's Cafe. I had a fantastic tuna salad. It was absolutely huge. And to complement that, I had, of course, an Americano. Standard price for Americano, €2.50. And this cafe is located on 42 Quau Jean Charles Ray. My French is not the best, and this has actually got quite a nice view of the harbour around the edge of Monaco, as if you look out into Riviera. Definitely worth checking out. A bit of a strange choice, this next one in Monaco. This cafe is called La Oya Monte Carlo, and it's actually situated in the train station of Monaco, or Monte Carlo. They do fantastic sandwiches, pastries, and coffee for very reasonable prices. So if you're coming in by train or going out by train, this is definitely worth a stop. in Rome as we speak and we are at a cafe called La Terraza Asalunga. This is a super chic trendy little bar. I'll do some pictures and photos in a minute. As you can see alcohol, beer, wine, trendy coffee cakes, the whole lot. On a nice little terrace here, a little view over Rome. Just walk from the Vatican from the river just over there and we're just here for a little stopgap before we go back to the hostel. Anyway let's get to the proper deets. We've got a little coffee down here and we've got this some sort of spongy vanilla cake. So combined, not too bad. We're talking 450 to 5 euros. But more importantly, let's give this black kind of Americano filled coffee a go. Ooh, okay. Um, not too bad. It's a bit, a bit tepid. It's not the hottest coffee in the world. Very light. Very, very light. Definitely a filter coffee. Very drinkable. Not your harsh Americano or espresso. But for... Two euros fifty, not too bad. Yeah, thanks. And lastly, on this week's episode, we had a bit of a coffee break before we went to see the Caracalla Baths. And this cafe is called Gusto Massimo Bar Bistro. As you can tell from the title, it is a bistro. So they do food, alcoholic drinks, soft drinks, loads of pastries, and of course, a coffee. It's actually situated right next to Circo Massimo. And this is where all the chariot racing was taking place back in the day. And you can walk down there after that, after the trendy coffee. These guys are open pretty late. So their open times are from 6.30am and they close at midnight or half midnight. So they go all the way through the day. Service is fantastic. And the coffee was tasting even better. I think I might even had two in that cafe. It was that good. Check those guys out. Overall, a fantastic Micronations tour. Monaco was fantastic, a bit expensive. San Marino was a nice little idyllic castle town, really, in the hills of Italy. And we finished in Rome to go and see Vatican City. Unfortunately, no coffee in Vatican City. It's those awful touristy type places that just serve coffee for the masses. Didn't fancy one of those. But we checked out a few trendy ones in Rome to finish the trip off with. Again, there's so many in these places. It's quite overwhelming, but checked out a few. Pretty happy what I've got and hopefully enjoy this Trendy Coffee Podcast episode. See you next time. Do you fancy supporting podcasts today? Then head to my Tee Public affiliate link in the description below. 
where you can help support the podcast by buying t-shirts, mugs, wall art, or whatever you want. Simply click the link, choose what you want, and buy it today. And this really helps podcasts gain a bit of traction going forward. As you can see, I'm wearing my new t-shirt and I absolutely love it. Get stuck in, and thank you so much. Subscribe today on YouTube, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and you can also rate and review on any of your podcast platforms that you use for your podcasts. Thank you.